Hello internet, I'm Bitch Nicholas, the lazy healthy dude. You know what I wish there were more of? I wish there were more GoFundMe, uh, please, coming through my Facebook feed. Uh, that, that's what I really want. I want more begging. It, it feels like it, it, Facebook has become like the, the side of the road with the transients and the homeless. Jeez, I was just, I was getting coffee the other morning, on Saturday morning in Midtown Sacramento. I was there for maybe a half hour, 45 minutes, and I got hit up twice, twice, by people, got any change? No, I don't have no change. I have change, just not for you. Barack Obama had change. Barack Hussein Obama. Oh, and, and, and to address the Hillary sticker, it's just a joke, dude. No one cares. Okay? We're all adults here. Uh, a listener sent it in to Armstrong and Getty. He sent in a couple, if I remember correctly. And I just stuck it on my laptop because who cares? And there's an Obamacare sticker on there too. Okay? <laughs> Although I am for universal health care. Uh, just kidding. Right, wingers. <laughs> I'm actually on Medi-Cal right now. But I've been paying into the system for so long, it's my time to shine. It's my time to take from uh, the hardworking people. Let's have fun today. Uh, my favorite fast foods. Now, I ate for eight, nine years uh, just all fast food, all junk food. Tons of fast food. I, would get, I mean, McDonald's, Carl's Jr., Wendy's, Jack in the Crack, you name it. I went there. Uh, it was my life. Uh, and th that's that's all I did. I would just go from one to the other. And I don't know why I would go home to take breaks. I guess every once in a while I would go home to scarf it down. When I wasn't eating it while driving, which I became a super expert at, that's why the whole texting while driving, yeah, it's a little dangerous, but when you're shoving Jack in the Crack tacos in your mouth uh, while navigating the lanes there, it's not much worse or better. Whatever. Okay, my favorite fast foods. So all I did was Google fast food joints, and this is what popped into my head first thing. Wendy's, their burgers are fabulous. Fabulous burgers. The produce is still cold. The tomatoes, the, the, the lettuce, the onions, cold, crisp, and then, uh, cause they make it, they make it quickly, or, or they make it right there, it's all freshly made. Um, the buns are soft. It's a solid, solid burger. I like their burgers. Enjoy them a lot. Um, special mention for Wendy's chicken nuggets. Now you think the, the chicken McNugget from uh, McDonald's, the chicken McNugget, but I liked Wendy's nuggets because it had breading. And it was, I mean, it was still fried, but there were bread crumbs for the breading. The chicken McNugget I'm a freaking expert in all this crap, okay? Uh, that's what happens when you eat... I was going to say the S word. When you eat junk or fast food for a decade, uh, my, 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 my fast food knowledge is unparalleled, and I'm pretty passionate about this crap. Uh, chicken nuggets, Wendy's, it, their breading is bread crumbs, or it's some sort of mixture. The, the chicken McNugget gets all the fame and all the hype and all the press, but really, it's uh, it's like they just throw that in like a batter, and then and then they fry it up. But in the end, you're just tasting a it's just fried batter. It's like uh, when they deep fry, when like a corn dog or a or a, a Snickers bar at the fair or a Twinkie. That's not that's the, the the Wendy's chicken nugget. It, the the breading allows the chicken to shine, and it's a better texture. It's not just fried crunch, fried crunch like the Mac Nugget. Wendy's chicken nuggets all day, our day. Okay, moving on. Um, Burger King, the king. We're dealing with royalty here, people. Um, their produce sucks, okay? Their, their tomatoes are like white in the middle. Lettuce, it looks like it's, it, they, they managed to, to pick lettuce from, that's like all rind. Like all, there's, there's nothing, it's, again, it's very white, uh, hashtag white lettuce matters, but uh, the poor produce, it, 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 it doesn't go far. It, it, it can end a burger's life. But the, uh, their Whopper, 
Um, they do onions good, actually. They do fresh onions good. Uh, but their Whopper, uh, they, the Whopper has mayonnaise and ketchup. And that is a dangerous mixture. That is, that is uh, just irresistible. It's good stuff. So while the produce is lacking their tomatoes and uh, their lettuce, it looks like it was picked in like uh, China in like November of uh, 2017, uh, six months ago or whatever. Uh, the the mayonnaise, you throw mayonnaise and uh, and ketchup, ketchup, C A T S U P, on pretty much anything. And like Guy Fieri says, you throw that on a shoe, I'll eat it. So the Whopper, it's not perfect, but it does the job. Chick fil A, Chick fil A. Uh, their breakfast is okay, it's pretty standard, but they do a bagel sandwich. Bagel at a fast food joint for breakfast, unparalleled. Unparalleled. Just let, show me where it is. Open the door for me. Oh! Um, so their bagel, uh, breakfast sandwich, it's a bagel. Sunflower seed, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, a slice of cheese, some egg and a fried chicken patty which they do the what they do the pressure cooker it's 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 a very good solid breakfast sandwich overlooked they actually took it away uh for a couple months or several months but i think it's back on the menu good stuff um oh but but the the one thing about chick-fil-a is that uh the, their waffle fries which are solid but they give you the dipping sauce like the dipping sauce is like is like this big okay it's like a sauce. It's like, uh, it's not big, but maybe this is more representative. Chapstick. Uh, but th so this is the, the little sauce, uh, tub there, but, but they're, 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 they're waffle fry. <laughs> this is a waffle fry. Waffle fry, uh, tub of, uh, of, uh, barbecue sauce. It's not very conducive to dipping. So you gotta break apart the waffle fry like you're some sort of savage. It's just a pain in the ass. Eh. I mean, the, the, the people in Syria here, my pleas, they're crying too. Uh, it's Chick-fil-A. McDonald's, the great McDonald's. I worked at McDonald's, Poway, California. It's uh, outside of San Diego. I worked there when I was 16. Fun memories. Oh, it's good stuff. Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. I hated every second of it. No, it wasn't too bad. I mean, whatever. It's a fast food job. I was in high school. Yeah, you, you work. You're working with your friends, and that's what's really, that's what's really important because you can score weed so much quicker and easier. Uh, McDonald's. What's good? Oh, the McGriddle. The McGriddle is a solid sandwich. The pancakes. So you got the 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 sweet, and then they throw the cheese and the and the bacon and or sausage in there. So you got the savory. It's a solid sandwich, but it's very the quality is very inconsistent. Sometimes the the the, the McGriddles are, are like old and hard. Uh, sometimes the egg is just all over the place. Poor presentation, um, and sometimes the McGriddles aren't even sweet. Like they have like almost no syrup in it. It's 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 so it's not always. It's very inconsistent. Um, and make. McDonald's is supposedly known for its consistency. For whatever reason, the McGriddle is hit or miss, but it's a good sandwich. It's a solid sandwich. Um, oh, little life hackeroni, little tip for McDonald's breakfast. They have the real eggs are very important. Jack in the Crack does real eggs for breakfast. So does McDonald's, um, where they like crack an egg, yolk, and uh, the white stuff, the non-yolk, uh, egg white. Uh, so that's good, because a lot of these joints, Carl's Jr., Burger King, they their their egg is just like some sort of egg mixture. Like, it's it's pretty consistent with this color. It's, it's mostly water, it comes pre-mixed. It's like, uh, it's like, well, it's like an omelet mixture, but very little egg lots of water and you lose the crucial egg texture and we love i love egg texture the yolk is something that should be cherished and when when it comes pre-mixed in in uh, a watered down solution there's no yolk there's no 
texture. There's no egg. There's. It's just not. It, it's 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 not an egg. Is what it is. It, it's egg like mixture. Um, but McDonald's can do. They do the rat. They do real eggs, but only on the egg McMuffin and slash McMuffin with eggs. So I guess the McMuffin uh, family. But when it comes to biscuits, they do uh, the the white egg watered down crap. So what you can do is you say like if you get a McGriddle, which comes with the folded, they call it the folded omelet, and then uh, the real eggs are called round. That's, that's the knowledge I got from uh, when I was working when I was 16. Uh, they, if you ask for a McGriddle, like order it. I want. Uh, I would like. See, an, uh, one thing that I'm doing for self improvement, <clears throat> I want to stop ordering things by saying, "Can I get, like, can I get a McGriddle?" I want to. I want to be more formal. That's so basic. It's so low rank. Can I get a? Of course you can. You're giving your mon their money. You're you're giving them their your money. <laughs> They're providing a service. Can I? No, I, I'm I'm thinking of changing to may I or I would like to order. I would like to order. So, you want McGriddle, real egg. You say, hello, uh, young McDonald's worker, who was 16, who is uh, 16 years old and rolling on the Molly last night at the club. Am I right? Um, I would like to order a McGriddle with a round egg. 99% of the time, they'll know what you're talking about. You won't get this crap. You'll get a real round egg, and uh, it makes the, well, it's, it's a lot more pleasurable uh, sandwich, is what it is. Uh, Carl's Jr. I never really desired Carl's Jr. They got the waffle fries, they're solid, like chick uh, fill up. Um, they do good burgers, but the, is, oh, Carl's Jr. was never something that like I wanted or had to have, or just was always saying, oh, I gotta go back there, for whatever reason. They're, they're okay. They they do a mean burger. I mean, I will admit the six dollar burger is 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 stacked and ready to go. But for whatever reason, I just didn't desire it or crave it. Jack in the crack, the classic Jack in the crack, uh, the Oreo shake. Jack in the boxes shakes are unheralded. I don't know what they. It's like real cream or real ice cream or real milk. You you, you get a shake at like the the Burger King or a uh, McDonald's. And there's weird aftertaste, like, I don't know, they, they don't, it's not pure, it's not, it's not a whole or something. I mean, Jack and the Crack is probably all chemicals too, but they do it right. Uh, the Oreo milkshake, I'm a huge fan of, uh, I still get it every once in a while. I get it with the whipped cream, but no maraschino cherry, because maraschino cherries are freaking disgusting. Can we all agree? I'm a cherry dude. Like, you give me a big bag of cherries and a bowl so I can spit the seeds out, and I'm good for like 45 minutes. I'll just whoosh, 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 whoosh. I love cherries. I'm a cher I got it from my mom. My mom loves cherries. Cherries are my thing. But a maraschino cherry just sitting in that syrup, and it gets all... The, the texture is, is it's like it's weird. It's like uh, it looks like uh, like Neo in the Matrix when he was in in the, in those little uh, egg things. Back to eggs uh, with with the when the, when, the, when they had the thing in his neck and uh, he was in in that liquid. It's just it, it's gross. A cherry should be just by itself. It's good enough. Maraschino cherries are disgusting. Side note. Uh, back to uh, Oreo, Oreo cookie shake. Oreos, I've talked about, I love the Oreo texture. The cookies and cream texture, money, on point. Uh, so they do the Oreo shake. Uh, Jack and the Crack tacos. Now, a lot of people don't like their tacos. I freaking love their tacos because they deep fry them. Now, I get it with uh, I get it without the hot sauce because the hot sauce is a little too spicy for me. But the fact that they take a, a taco and then put it in the fryer, ding, 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 ding. I mean, why hasn't anyone else thought of this? Brilliant. Give that man the, the, the freaking Nobel Peace Prize or whatever. Um, the, they fr and the, the, the contents of the taco, the, the meat is questionable. <laughs> It's it's sort of like the texture of puppy chow, uh, but 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 putting it in the fryer and then the cheese is in there a lot also that, that gets a little fried up um, and there's lettuce in there which I mean you don't put lettuce in a fryer people but somehow it works it all comes together it's a great great yummy taco love their tacos oh and the Jack in the Crack 
uh, breakfast sandwiches are dynamite. They do the real egg. Now, the thing about McDonald's, uh, how, why do I know so much about this? How did I retain so much about this? I'm a real fat person on the inside. I'm just a real, I'm a little fat person. I just want to be loved and accepted. Um, Jack and the Crack eggs. The thing about McDonald's eggs is uh, the way they cook them, they're called round eggs because they put them in like these little round uh, metallic things. Uh, shape things on, on the on the grill. So they they have like eight of them on a grill and eight little circles in this contraption. Uh, and it's fine, but Jack in the Crack fries their eggs. So while McDonald's has real eggs, which are good, Jack in the Crack's fried eggs are ten times better. No, <laughs> okay, maybe five. Uh, but uh, just a, uh, just a higher level of egg uh, pleasure, uh, of, of egg of egg of excellence. Oh, I just came up with that. Score. I'm gonna be in the writer's room for Conan O'Brien soon. Um, they do the fried egg. It's it's outstanding. Um, what I would what I would suggest getting is their ultimate breakfast sandwich, which is a uh, bun, like it's a hamburger bun. They don't mess around, because there's so much going on on the ultimate breakfast sandwich. I should have brought it up on, a, on, on the website. But I know from memory, because I'm a fat person, um, they do, it's like, this is a, I'm paraphrasing, <laughs> I'm just guess. I'm, I'm uh, pulling this uh, from my uh, from my hard drive in my head. Uh, it's, uh, it's two fried eggs, I believe, or one fried egg, but it's a bunch of ham, there's bacon on there, there's a bunch of cheese, and there's so much going on, and this happened to me often, because I would do, like I said, I would do drive through because I'd be too embarrassed to waddle my nearly 400 ass into the restaurant, uh, but there's so much going on that on the drive home, there, like, like I said, there's a bunch of ingredients uh, and on the drive home, there'd be so much heat emanating from this marvel of a sandwich that it would literally go into condensation nuclei. Now, if you don't remember what condensation nuclei is, kids, uh, you're probably a long way from seventh grade science, but there would just be so much water, heat and water and moisture, and it would oftentimes it would ruin the sandwich, it would like make the bun all wet, so... It was it was a disheartening experience, but so if you can eat it there right when they serve it, yak it down. Uh, hopefully you live close to a Jack in the Crack. I do. I have like two of them, just like literally down the street in in both ways. Uh, but I haven't eaten one of those in a long time. But ultimate breakfast sandwich, you can't go wrong. Okay, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm sorry, Kitchen Fresh Chicken. The Colonel. Um, I never really desired, I mean, they, they do solid fried chicken. Uh, the, the extra tasty crispy obviously is the best. Although the original recipe is really good too. But I never desired because I don't like eating with my hands. And that's a whole nother thing that I, I'll go into maybe someday. Um, but they, they do solid fried chicken for what it is, mass produced fried chicken. Okay, but uh, one thing that is, uh, is, is not mentioned a lot, their honey mustard sauce is the best dip. Best dipping sauce. Their honey mustard sauce is to die for. And they, they give you real honey too. So, excuse me. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh my goodness. I blame the coffee. That was the third one. Oh my goodness. This is really embarrassing. I'm a gentleman. I'm a southern gentleman. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I blame the coffee. I'll drink more. Cause I don't give up um, honey mustard sauce and real honey. Okay, now you put the okay. Oh, now see, I didn't write this down, but the KFC uh, whatever the chicken tenders are, crispy tenders, they're boneless. Um, you get those. You get some of the some of their honey mustard sauce, which I said uh, was is, is fantastic. And then you get real honey, the real which comes in like little packets, like ketchup packets, but it's real honey. You get that real honey and you squeeze it all over the uh, their chicken fingers uh, for kernel strips. I think that's what they're called. Um, oh, just excellent, an excellent meal, <laughs> excellent uh, dining experience, cuisine, very good. Uh, kernel strips with real honey, 
check it out. Oh, and for the KFC and A and W, the the those hybrid weird hybrid restaurants, um, the A and W hot dogs are a fantastic hot dog. They're super. See, Wiener Schnitzel gets all the press. Wiener Schnitzel gets all the attention. These are hot dogs, and their hot dogs are average. Farmer John, okay, whatever, mediocre, normal. Like you buy them in an eight, eight to a pack at, at the grocery store. They're they're so simple, so nothing. But the A and W hot dog, very fatty. It's it's almost like a sausage. Uh, how how much fat and juice and just yumminess there is. Um, so if you get a chance, check out the A and W hot dogs. Can't go wrong. Uh, Arby's. Arby's, uh, they're market fresh sa sandwich sandwiches. I'm, I'm running out of hyperlatives. I'm running out of adjectives. Excellent, fantastic, fabulous, wonderful, great sandwiches. The bread is soft. Um, I would get their, uh, BLT, I believe. I think it was the big, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, anything with their bacon, because their bacon is pepper encrusted, so it's got pepper all over it. I mean, not all over it, but pepper on it, on the sides or whatever. And uh, like I said, the, they got the market fresh sandwiches, which I don't know if they still have. Hopefully they do. Uh, soft bread. Uh, you got the the pepper bacon, and then I just remember their sandwiches having just a bunch of fresh stuff like. Uh, Whatever lettuce, tomatoes, onions, uh, all your standard stuff, but I I really enjoyed eating because it was it was like it was like a good deli is what it was. It wasn't some crappy fast food thing. Mark fresh sandwiches and their fries, their fry they do the curly fries and their regular fries also very good. They always seem fresh for maybe it was the location that I went to, um, but they always seem fresh and hot and crispy right out of the fryer, so. Soft spot in my heart for Arby's. Uh, honorable mention, Pizza Hut. The best crust because it's greasy. But their veggies, their toppings, their ve their vegetable toppings, too thick. Like, like uh, they, they cut them too thick, they need to cut them thinner. Um, like green peppers, uh, it's, it's like you're eating the entire green pepper. And and, uh, and the, the red onions, I'm, I'm, an onion, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an onion lover. I love red onions. But they cut them way too thick. It's like you're eating a mouthful of onion for each single topping. It, it, it's too much. So if you do get Pizza Hut, stay away from their veggies. Just go with sausage or, or whatever, pepperoni. Um, and Subway. Subway, I still get every once in a while because th there's so much going on in a Subway sandwich. And it's not good. It, let's be honest. It's not a very good sandwich. But it's, it's a whole thing. It's a whole deal. It's a whole ordeal <laughs> sometimes, uh, but I, I just I, I I just love Subway because it's it, it's 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 a contrast. It, it's it's a walking dichotomy. Your your sandwich shouldn't walk, but uh it but the, the Subway sandwich there's always so much going on and there's tons of toppings and it, you customize it obviously, um, but the, the the Subway sandwich can both can be both at at the same time mediocre and and somewhat outstanding and that blows my mind and so I I still get a Subway sandwich every once in a while just because it's it it's just it's something man it's it's like this isn't that good but I'm enjoying consuming it whatever plugs. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, comment if you want below, or not, do whatever you want. Uh, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, I am Vince Nicholas. Uh, please like, on Facebook, please like the Lazy Healthy Dude page, um, and or add me as a friend. I'm Vince Nicholas 77 on the Facebook, the face bag. Uh, LazyHealthyDude.com, someone, uh, someone on YouTube, I think. A dude called me LHD. LHD, that's an acronym for lazy, healthy dude. And at first I Googled LHD and I was like, is LHD something the kids are saying down at the club or some, something that the hipsters are saying? Well, what is this new term, newfangled term that this, this dude's using, using on me? And then I was like, oh, he's just LHD. He's just taking lazy, healthy dude and putting it in letters. 
So uh, lazyhealthydude.com, like me, follow me, love me, care about me, pay attention to me, be my friend, because that's what really matters, is internet friends you've never met, IRL, or not, do whatever you want, you're an adult, make your own decisions, live your life, what are you listening to me for, I'm an idiot, uh, I, I just talked about a, 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 a breakfast sandwich for six and a half minutes straight, okay, peace.